Welcome to Ducati Travels. Today we're going to fit the air scoops that are fitted to the Rally version of the Multistrada. This adds the option of having the scoops opened or closed. These are the parts we are going to fit today. The parts need to be made up into these sub-assemblies ready for fitting. If you decide to do this project yourself, here are the parts that are required. Now the introduction is over, let's get to fitting the parts. The silver trim panel is attached with three screws. One of the screws is located above the indicator and the other two are on the front of the panel. Once these screws are removed, the panel will unclip. The large black panel is held on with four screws, two at the rear and two at the top. The screws are torque screws, Unfortunately, you stuck with me in a terrible voiceover. I lost the audio when I recorded this, so I'm sorry about that, but I'll do my best. Once all the screws are removed, the cables that power the indicator and the fog lights, if fitted, need to be unclipped. These are held on with cable ties cut the cable ties off. It's a good idea to take a photo of this so you can get them in the same position when putting it back together. You will need to disconnect the indicator. The indicator plug has a small clip that needs to be depressed before it will unplug. My bike has a radiator guard fitted. The radiator guard uses the same mountings as the factory fog lights it fitted. So if you've got fog lights, they will need removing as well. The panel is held on with a number of clips across the top. Carefully unclip it. I was hoping I wouldn't have to remove the engine bars, but the engine bars had to come off. Once the engine bars was removed, there's a small scoop at the bottom that needs to be removed. This is held on with two screws and an eight millimeter nut. The panel is now ready to be removed. Carefully, Pull it back from the top, releasing it from its clips. Once the panel is free at the top, carefully twist it and unhook it from the radiator spigot. Once the panel is free, be careful that the rubber grommet doesn't fall out. The panel is now removed and the, the scoop is held on with four screws. Once you remove these screws, you can change the scoop and put the new one on. Here is the new scoop fitted. This must must be the most boring voiceover.
when we fit in the panel, it hooks onto the radiator spigot first. This involves twisting it around until it lines up and clips on. This part is quite fiddly, looking at my own video. Yeah, it was very, very fiddly. And pass the cables through, ready for reattaching. There's a rubber air duct that needs putting back on. This can be quite tricky. The panel's all back on now. All this now is the cables to tidy up and clip back on, and the rest of the parts to put on that were removed. It's pretty straightforward from here. The other side is very similar to this, and it's straight, that's it. Here's an example of it working, just to show you how it works once it's on. That's it, thanks for watching, sorry about the voiceover, it's very difficult doing voiceover. See you again, bye.